Hi everyone. Today we are taking a look at fall fashion trends for 2023 with front door fashion. And I've asked my stylist to produce a couple of looks that have the trends that are upcoming. There are way too many trends this fall, but she chose a few that would go with the shoes that I showcased two weeks ago, and you can find those right here later. Well, let's see what my lovely stylist Bethany had to say this week. Hi Catherine, there are so many reported trends this season, so after considering your ability to wear colors and prints beautifully, your requests for casual outfits and your new shoes that need outfits to be paired with, I have sort of narrowed them down. Front door is focusing on rich jewel tones, brown hues, suiting, and leather, and coated pieces. Elle proclaims everything red is now. Vogue reports on corporate dressing the necessity of having a casual white button down this season. I definitely need one. Winter floral statement black coats and rebellious looks in honor of late great Vivienne Westwood. Her legacy is carried on in plaid and tartan prints, elevated punk dressing, and beautiful tailoring. Here we go. If you think this is a pretty kimono, which I totally think it is, there is a link in the description. You might get a discount, I'm not sure. This company sent it to me. I think it's lovely. So for this first outfit, and I did request quite a casual box, so I think most of it I'll be wearing jeans. What works about this outfit for me, she had the striped lines going up and down, which is a little slanderizing, and the colorful jacket has shoulder pads, which help balance my large hips. So I feel very well put together with this outfit. I love the length of the pants. The pants are just stretch jeans with uh, straight legs, narrow, slim fit. They have lots of stretch, which I love. And the jacket just polishes up the look with this lovely little gray belt. Hints to the color on the tips of the shoes is not really a match, but it doesn't matter. It's just gradation of color, very easy, very simple, and elegant put together look. If I were to replace this with a let's go to work look, just wear slim black trousers instead. Also, the length and weight of the shirt is just perfect for Houston transitional weather. Now, this second look is so easy. Oh my goodness. All it is is the same jeans with a beautiful top. And yes, I am mixing blues and black with my pointy loafers and the shirt has all the colors that I'm wearing. She didn't even say that I needed the belt for it, but it does carry that belt color as well. So I kept the belt on, so easy. And look at the beautiful details of the shirt. Really pretty. Who's this shirt by? It's called the Mickey Top by the Caballero Collection. 
in color Harvest Burnout. The belt is by Van Zeth. The jeans are NYDJ. The jacket from before was by Ichi. I think that's how you say that. The stripe button down was by Michael Stars. I do like that many of front door fashion brands are European fashion and I appreciate that very much. And these are super comfortable outfits to wear. Can't even tell you. And guys, this is my favorite type of outfit. I wear this every day kind of thing, a jean and a nice sweater. And this feels so cozy, it's silky. I don't know what material it is, but it's lovely. <laughs> Tuck it in so that I get those legs looking a little longer. It has the V-line neck, which gives me a little bit more breathing space for my shape. And it's nice and a little bit oversized and lovely. The jeans are a size 12. <laughs> right now I'm at the perfect size 12 because even the length works. So really lovely with my cheetah shoes. I love the camel colored shirts and dresses and tops with red. That's one of my favorite combinations. I think it's so elegant. What do you think? <laughs> I just adore this. So cozy, so comfy, and put together. The Blue Slim Straight Jeans is from NYDJ, and the Carmel Sweater is by Gentle Fawn. And my top is a medium, whereas the bottom is a 12. I don't quite make it to five foot four, just, and I'm, very heavy <laughs> so you guys can have an idea of my proportions and sizes somebody told me in my videos they don't like it when i raise my leg <laughs> and i usually raise my leg so that you guys can see my shoes so i hope you can see everything now for the classic piece that everyone needs forever, right? But it's especially hot this season is the white cotton shirt button down. And this is a very basic one. The sleeves are a little on the long size, um, the little cufflinks. But other than that, it's a very basic white shirt. And this is what I love about front door fashion. You are working so closely with your stylist. Bethany knows everything about me. We can text and you can text your uh, stylist yourself. And she goes, being Texas, I have made the long black coat trend into a something more wearable for us, which is this little jacket. It's kind of lightweight and looks like a uh, bomber jacket. Has that stripe over here. And look at the material, how interesting it is. Little pocket. But she also teaches me how to wear this. We have tucked the white shirt, so we need to open two of the buttons and just tuck that in. So that makes it interesting. Then she said, roll your sleeves. The shirt needs pressing, but that's okay. Because she wanted to be rolled with the jacket so that it gives you an interesting look. And then after you roll it, you will scrunch the sleeves. And 
Voilà. Poof up that hair, girls. <laughs> white top is from base level and the outerwear is from Liverpool. That the third collection revolves around this multi-pled blazer which is a lovely. It's a little too snug for me in that I can button it but I look stuffed. <laughs> yeah lovely. Look at the buttons. This is a gorgeous piece. It is a piece by Ecru very edgy and lovely and classic now at the same time. I think this is what's celebrating Vivian Westwood for my stylist. I can tell. Now look at this. It's again, the white shirt makes another appearance and it will again and again because thankfully Bethany has helped me figure out how to wear a white shirt but instead of just your plain white shirt. You can have a very casual look like the previous one with the bomber jacket or you can have it a leather jacket or a little dressier but yet funky still with this multi plaid blazer. Yes this is a nice basic white shirt. I really want this shirt that came in my old money video. You guys after this you should go watch that one. I love that shirt. Now it is a pretty penny but as an investment piece I think I might seriously consider purchasing that shirt because it is fitted for my body and I just love it. Whereas this one I kind of have to fight with it to stay put and low profile. So We'll see, decisions, decisions. Same shoes, same jeans, same white top, but now with this fabulous multi-pled jacket. And just like that, we changed the shoes to the blue shoes and the black jeans, same jacket and same white shirt. You got another outfit. Eee. <laughs> and now for the grand finale, this very luxurious autumnal look with the silky top an aubergine leather pants, my fiery red shoes, fiery red lipstick, and of course the fabulous jacket. What do you guys think? If you want to use front door fashion and you it's that time of the year where everybody is going crazy trying to catch up with trends 
and also prepare for the festivities of the end of the year. The season has started. You can try my link in the description. It will take you to a questionnaire. And when you make your first purchase, you will get $50 off. And I'll get $50 off my next purchase. So yay. Bye.